and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing part two to your relationship slash guy help that you need and I'm gonna be giving you my advice based on experiences, based on my opinion, based on what I would do, what I would think. So let's go ahead and get started. It's like, why you going out so much? Like it's not already So the question we left off on is by underscore Valerie.cx and she said, how would you keep trust with your significant other if you're in a long distance relationship and he changed his passwords to all of his social medias and won't give them to you? By the way, I love you so much, Giselle. You're so beautiful. Thank you so, so much, Valerie. I just think personally, like if you're not hiding anything, then there's no problem with giving your password to someone. Also, they shouldn't be, you know, like stalking all your stuff like, oh, are you talking to anyone? No, 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 no. I don't think it's cool to go through each other's messages like to see if either of you are like talking to other people like I think it's concerning the fact that he changed his passwords when you used to have them already be open with him and let him know how you feel trust should not be solely relied on having each other's passwords for different social media that should not be the trust foundation of your relationship it should really just be communicating in general Kayla underscore Avaya 1323 said should I get mad if my boyfriend is texting another girl and asking if she's okay and telling her to go to sleep I asked him why he texted her and he said that she was being annoying so he texted her should I be mad or not? I do not think you should be mad. It's perfectly fine for your boyfriend to be able to talk to other girls and care about other people. He's not saying anything like flirty. Don't just let it slide by if it keeps happening because then I understand why you would be like a little bit worried. Um, but for now, like I, I think it's I think it's fine. Okay, so this next one is a lot longer. So let's go ahead and read this one. It's by Y underscore Yagis. I hope I said that right. Okay, so I'm currently in a long distance relationship with a guy. I am in California and he's in North Carolina. He is four years older than me. I am 15 and he is 19 currently. We met online in 2015 and we would text each other every night until the 1st of January of 2016 that he told me what he felt for me. I said yes. And well, since it hadn't been a long time since Christmas had passed, he proposed to send me a gift and so I gave him my address. And I asked him for his and so I sent him a gift card. And on the 6th of January of 2016, the present that he sent me arrived and I was on a field trip that day. My parents were angry and well, they made me call him. He told them that I was his girlfriend and they told him not to talk to me. They took my phone away and were mad because I never told them about him. But I mean, I didn't tell them because it was still too early to tell them that he was my boyfriend and also my parents are really strict with that matter. They don't want me to have a boyfriend. But he still managed to talk to me and ask me if I still cared of our relationship and I said yes. We broke up and we got back together in August of 2016, but my parents don't know. I love him dearly, please help. Me and him are planning to tell them once I turn 19 and planning to meet when I turn 18. They told him that they would call the police on him, but never did just because he was 18 in the time when we got caught. What should we do so my parents accept him in the near future? I would love to hear from you. Just love you. I love you too. Ah, this is hard. Just from experience, I am very open with my parents about who is my boyfriend. The fact that you're a little bit older, they should be more comfortable with the idea of you dating someone. And then sometimes you need to have these conversations with your parents and be like, I am interested in being in a relationship. My friends are in relationships. I'm interested in this guy. I would like to be in one too. And then to like make them accept him, tell them a little bit about him. Like, what does he do? What does he like? How does he treat you? Be very positive because the age difference, like it's slowly not going to be a big problem anymore once you're 18. Keeping that open relationship with your parents, really work on that and it makes your relationship so much easier because it's so nice when your boyfriend and your parents get along. Like, that's the best feeling. You will get past this and I know you guys will be happy in the end. You can like FaceTime, hey, like you want to say hi to my parents? and he'll just say hi like just little baby steps like that yeah underscore girl Maria asks how do you deal with long-distance relationships do you have any advice to help me out love you girly love you too again I've never been in a long-distance relationship but I have talked to people that are really far away it's really hard in the first place not being able to see each other so the best thing you can do is communicate as much as you can through text through phone calls through all of that as long as you stay connected that way you're gonna be fine I think long distance is very doable because we have all this technology nowadays talk as much as you can send each other little packages like when it's your birthday when it's his birthday things like that communication is key trust is key Gali underscore Arellano 2 asks how do you let them know you don't want a relationship with them if they want one with you love you Jis love you too Honesty is the most important thing. You do not want to hurt someone's feelings. You do not want to lead someone on. Just being straightforward like, hey, I think you're an amazing person. I love talking to you. I love hanging out with you. But I am just not interested romantically like that with you. 
plain and simple. It might hurt him a little, but he'll appreciate the honesty. So I think that's the best way to go. Diana C H asks, how do you know they like you back? I said this in part one, but their actions will speak for their words. They will go the extra mile to talk to you, to text you, to hang out with you, to see you. Leslie FX underscore asks, how can you tell if someone is actually into you and not just an F boy? <laughs> their demeanor, like look at their past relationships. Have they been with like a bunch of girls? That's probably not a good sign. If you've heard maybe in the past like, oh, they cheated on all these girls that's not a good sign just kind of ask people who know him get you know some information Mika underscore happy feed said what advice would you give to people that are moving on but sometimes it's hard because of the memories seeing your ex around since you have mutual friends and things aren't the same anymore Ooh, do I have some experience in this so for people that are moving on it is so hard but the way to make it so much easier on yourself is to take out anything that reminds you about them. That means deleting him off social media, taking out the things that he gave you from your room, take all of that out, even if it means like avoiding some situations because he's gonna be there and you know you still have a bunch of feelings for him. I'm not the type of person who can keep someone on my social media that I dated that obviously hurt me and I still have feelings for them because it's just gonna hurt me even more seeing what they're doing, seeing that they don't care, seeing that they're like living their life perfectly fine while I'm here like hurting or something. The thing that helps the most when you're moving on, actually two things. Time. As redundant as that sounds, time literally does wonders. With time, things will be so much better. And then the other thing is talking to people. Tell them, tell other people what happens. Tell people how you feel. Tell people your situation. And like after talking about it, it feels so, so much better. Venting honestly really does help. Delete those pictures, delete those videos. It's gonna be tempting to check on him, but with time, honestly, it's gonna get so much better and you're gonna completely like not even think about it. And it's a really good feeling to be able to tell yourself like, I'm ready to move on. Juan.EvoX760 asks, You look gorgeous as always, so I need help with like how to not be shy, like keeping a conversation, going what to say, what to talk about, and stages to dating a girl. Thank you so much. I love you, Giselle. So I love this question because it's coming from a guy. So guys, if you're watching this video, pay attention. You have to break that bubble because you're going to be going your whole life like, Oh, what if I would have talked to this girl that day I had the chance to? You do not want to be living that way. So sometimes the best thing to do is not think about it just go for it just literally go for it and I can say this because I'm very shy and that's what helps me be like hey you look very pretty today um, and just even something as small like can I have your snapchat from there then you can text her and then like ask her on a date and from there things will move on um, and like things to talk about like ask her about herself like people love talking about them so like, how long have you been here um, how many classes are you taking what's your favorite thing to do do you have any pets you are you know little things like that like, oh that's another thing find things you have in common if she says something like oh I have three chihuahuas and you love dogs like oh my gosh like I'm such a dog lover if you can make her laugh like that's a plus if you have like some good joke and stages to dating a girl just for me personally like my stages is like meeting someone talking to them going out on dates after a few dates after you get to really know her well and you're really sure about being with her then just ask her out do something cute when you ask her out it doesn't have to be anything extravagant but like show your effort if you really like this girl then go that extra mile to like show her that you care and she'll she'll see it because it can be really rare nowadays even if you've been dating for a while like one day you just randomly bring her like a bag of chocolates like oh like I saw these at the store I, I knew you liked these I brought these too I just thought of you like, focus on the little details don't be shy just go for it um, ask her about herself Try and find things in common and things will fall in place. Positive Feed said, what attracts guys? How to know if he's losing interest in you? Thank you. So while I'm editing, I realized I didn't answer the part about what attracts guys. So I'm not a guy, so I can't necessarily speak for them. But I will say that we all like some confidence. So people with confidence, I'm going to go with that. <laughs> How to know if he's losing interest in you? Um, if he's telling you all the time, oh, I'm busy, oh, I didn't have time. If he used to do super cute things in the beginning of your relationship, but he doesn't do anything anymore, he forgets things, if he doesn't talk to you as much as he used to. Weird as it is, like you notice those things, and you, if you feel like something is wrong, if you feel like something is different, it's because it is. Just keep your guard up, know what you deserve. I ended up filming part 1 and part 2 on the same day and I got more questions after I finished filming so I didn't get to all of them. Let me know if you guys would like a part 3 maybe where I get to do the rest of the questions. Let me know down below.
So that was the last question from this relationship advice video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Let me know if you've been in similar situations so we don't feel alone because I clearly have been in some of these. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you have any other subjects on little advice videos I should make, let me know down below. Thank you so much if you submitted a question. I really do appreciate you taking the time to write it to me and I will talk to you guys really soon. Bye!